Sometimes it's hard to get a video idea out of here onto here. A lot of times we have video ideas in our head that it's really hard to communicate to an editor properly. So here's my framework for actually giving the editors what they need to get the video that you want in your head. All right, so I'm just gonna go down the list. This is what I fill out inside of our project management software. I have a template and I fill this out for every video that we have for clients. So the first thing is aspect ratio, very important. The aspect ratio is gonna inform what platform it's gonna be on, whether it's TikTok, Instagram stories, Instagram reels, Instagram posts, Facebook, YouTube, you name it. You gotta figure out your aspect ratio. Most common aspect ratios are gonna be 16 by nine, one by one, four by five, or nine by 16. Next item up on the list is the goal. Now the goal is very different than the theme. The goal is going to be what is the point of this video? What are we trying to get someone to do? Maybe the goal is to get conversions, but maybe the goal is to get people to uh, sign up for your email list. So the goal is different than the theme because it's something that you're trying to get the viewer of the video to do. So the theme is the next item and that is very different from the goal because the theme could be playful, moody, serious, dark, dramatic, whatever. What is the theme? What's the vibe? What's the mood? That's what you need to put there. The next item up on the list is the script or the shot list. One thing I love doing on shot lists is inserting a table on Google Docs with just two columns. One column is going to be the shots that you're seeing visually, and the other column is either text on the screen or the voiceover that's playing during those shots. The next item up is the hook. Very important. Obviously, the hook would be included in the script or the shot list, but the hook is one of the most important things. And a lot of times we try to come up with multiple hooks so we can test them to see which one performs the best. If you don't have a good hook, no one's watching the rest of the video. So the hook is one of the most important things to test. The next is text on screen. So this is a little bit different than what we posted before. Sometimes the script in, and the shot list is a voiceover. So if there's anything that we definitely wanna emphasize on screen, we'll make sure to put that there. Next up is music. If we're not selecting the music, we always try to give good descriptions or examples of what we're trying to find. But if you're using Artlist or Envato, you can create collections on the site that are specific for that project. So if you're trying to do something kind of beachy or tropical or whatever, maybe you make a little tropical playlist, put the songs that you think might work in that playlist and send them to the editor. One thing we always try to avoid if we're using multiple editors on one project is everyone ending up using the same song. So make sure that your editors are communicating with each other so they're not all using the same music because sometimes one of the songs is obviously the best one and they all want to use that song. The next three items are font, branding, and logo. Especially when you're doing client work, these are very, very important because you wanna make sure that everything feels cohesive to the brand guidelines. So you're obviously gonna to wanna to communicate with your client to try to get that ahead of time, but some brands don't really have all that figured out, to be honest. So it's a good idea to figure out what fonts that everyone's gonna be using across the board so that the video looks uniform and matches with all the other content that already exists. The next item up is templates or effects. Sometimes we just want some simple stuff that's kind of imitating other things that we've already made before, or we want some kind of special effects in there. So that's what we'll put in that section. The next item up is inspo. So anything that you're trying to emulate or imitate, definitely put that here. That is super, super helpful for editors. If they have something to reference and they know the vibe and the look that you're going for in the inspo, that is so, so helpful. And there's a way better chance that the video that you have in your head is gonna come out the way that you want. The next item up is where they can find the link to the footage. So make sure that you're sharing the footage in a place where everyone has access to it um, so that they can download and get all the footage that they need. The last two items are very important because they revolve around who is responsible for watching these first and second drafts, and then who needs to be tagged for final approval before we send it off to the client. Now, this is important because a lot of times the first round revisions can be done by someone who's not even very technically skilled. They might just be looking out for typos and making sure that what you've listed above is actually being followed in the video. The final approval should be the final person that needs to watch the video and give that final okay so that everything's good to go. But the final person typically doesn't need to watch every single draft. This is really important and something that we learned after watching hundreds of videos. Hopefully this helps you in your content creation journey. Let me know if it helped down below or if I forgot anything and make sure you subscribe to Formedia for more videos just like this.